We begin tonight with Decision 2023 coverage. A small election awaits for some UP voters this November, and Marquette County voters may notice something different. TV6's Justin Fantoff tells us what's on the ballot and what you can do to make sure your vote counts. On November 7th, local elections will be held throughout the state of Michigan. Voters in the city of Marquette can head to the polls the Thursday through Sunday before the election for early in-person voting. The city is piloting an early voting program. Marquette City voters will be able to vote at a polling station located at Peter White Public Library. Early voting is completely new to the state of Michigan. Um, so we are going to have to learn how to staff early voting. We're going to have, there's new procedures and protocols that are going to be in place. The state of Michigan is going to have new systems in place for us to use. And in my opinion, the earlier we can get our hands on some of that stuff and the earlier we can get some experience with it, the better it's going to be for everybody. In the city of Marquette, voters will make decisions on the city commission and board of light and power. Voters in the city will not be the only ones heading to the polls in Marquette County. In the city of Nagani, voters will decide council members and board of review. In Michigami Township, there is an operating millage renewal proposal. And in the Gwynn Area Public School District, voters will make a decision on a bond proposal. I would really like to see a, a nice high turnout for your areas. Um, please take the time. These are, these are some very important issues that, um, that sometimes get overlooked and this is your opportunity to have your voice be known. Last November, voters in Michigan approved Proposal 2, which adds nine days of in-person voting. Talsma says that will not come into effect for this election cycle. This time around, you will not see anything different. Um, the early voting is not happening in most jurisdictions until February. Talsma says for absentee voters, you can request your ballot starting September 28th. Justin Van Hoff, TV6 News.